Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation Testing series and this is our 23rd tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn about the nested for loop so let's begin. In our previous tutorial we learned that what is for loop and how for loop works. Now we need to learn that what are the nested for loop. So nested for loop is basically a loop inside another loop. So basically this loop inside an other loop. So there will be two loops. So one is known as outer outer loop and other is known as inner loop. Now these nested loops will be helpful when you need to iterate over multiple sequences such as lists, tuple, strings and dictionaries. Okay. Now let's talk about the syntax because here we have a two loops. One is the outer loop and one is the inner loop. So the syntax is basically syntax. Let me write a syntax for you. So now I'm writing for the outer loop. So I need some variable to store a value for the outer loop. So outer variable in outer underscore sequence. Now again here the sequence can be string list. Okay. And inside this we will be having an other loop for and then we need a variable to store a value for the inner loop okay so inner underscore variable in inner sequence okay so this is basically a code syntax for the inner loop here in this particular part you will be writing a code for the inner loop okay go to execute okay so this is basically a syntax now let's take a practical example to understand how this outer and inner loops work okay so let's go to the python here and let me open a project for this one so python for automation distance series and now let me create new python file I am naming it as nested for loop and let's take a sequence let's take a list first so I will take numbers and here I will be having a multiple items or the values now I will be using a nested for loop first I will be writing the outer loop okay and then I will be writing a inner loop. So for num, this is a variable, this is an outer variable in nums. Okay. Now inside this, I will be writing an other loop. Okay. So I will say for i, again, this is a variable. And here I'm taking a range between one comma four so the values will be between one two three here okay now once i have this now i need to write a code here so let me simply print num comma i so let's run this and see what we get so you see that we are basically getting one 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 two one three. So how this loop is working? Let's understand uh, line by line. Okay. So this for loop, which is an outer loop, okay, it will grab value one and save in this particular variable for the first iteration. Okay, and then that's why it is printing one here okay because this one now this inner loop will work for this iteration so in the first iteration we get one okay now inner loop will execute between one and four which is one two and three values basically so first it will execute once for this one and this will complete so let me summarize or simplify this thing more in order to make you understand. This outer loop will execute 
and this will give a one value. Now, when, once we get one, this loop will execute for three times because it contains a range one, two, four. That's why we are getting one, 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 two, one, three. Now, again, it will go to the outer loop. Okay, this time you will get a two value and this inner loop will execute completely for two. And here there are three values, so it will again run for the three values, which is one, two, and three. And similarly, in the third time, you will get a three value for this outer loop, and then it will execute completely in the inner loop, and it will generate all the values. That's why we are getting three, one, three, two, and three, three. Okay. Now let's take an example of tuple here. Let me move these lines of code from here. Now in this particular example, I will be iterating first into the tuple and then inside that tuple, I will be iterating over the string. So let me create a tuple for fruits. And here I'm creating a tuple simply, I will say apple, comma, then I say banana, then I'll say an entire fruit, let's take a mango. Okay, now this is a tuple. So simply first we will write an outer loop here, take a variable, outer variable, and we will be iterating over the force over here. Now, in the first, when first loop will execute, it will grab apple and save this into the fruit. Okay. And now I am writing a inner loop because this inner loop will execute every single time for the outer loop. Okay. So for let's take an example of letter in and I will say fruit because in fruit I will get this apple. Now I am running an inner loop on this fruit. Okay. And when you get apple in the fruit, this means now we have a string which is apple okay and now we are iterating over our apple so in apple we have a b b l e okay so first outer loop first value apple and then because we are using an inner loop so inner loop will be executing on the string apple and we will get every character of this one okay so i will say print what we need to do is that we need to print a letter because in this letter uh, variable we are getting first we are getting a then p p then l then e okay and now uh, we'll be using ands equals to because uh, after everyone we need a space over here so and and here i will give a space over here and once this will be done finally i need to use a print for the new line after each root okay now uh, let's run this one so you will see that we get apple banana and mango so the first is basically we're giving a space over here and if i remove this space from here and run this one you see that there's no space between the characters here and this print is basically we are going with the empty so what it will do is that it will create a new line after each fruit. So now let me sub summarize this thing for you. Let me go here. So basically, we learned about a nested for loop. So it's a loop inside another loop. So we have two loops, outer loop and inner loop. And syntax is already mentioned over there. So the first for this, this is one thing which I need to write over here for you. So for iteration outer loop okay there is the first iteration and then all iteration for inner loop will execute for this loop one okay inner loop and we will be executing all the iterations okay it can be one comma two comma three so first iteration only and inside that all iterations of inner loop then go to the outer loop again then all iterations of inner loop so that's how inner loop works in this nested loop concept
Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much, and see you in the next tutorial.